more fireworks! Uh, yeah, uh, it seems like all they do is fireworks here sometimes, and, um, it's kind of true. It seems whenever there's a big celebration, or, uh, if there's not one, then they just make one up and they have fireworks. That's actually from about a month ago when I was at the monastery. And in that video, when I turned to the people, uh, the first guy is Mason, and he was the guy that was living with me just a little while ago, and then his girlfriend, Fawn Son, uh, Fawn Son is what I call her, Fawn, um, those two, they just moved today, and so they're in their new apartment, they're very happy, and we're all very happy, and then the last guy, the older guy, he's, that's Father Thomas from the monastery, and he's he's just really, really funny. Um, old monk, he's like a he Hebrew scholar, Taboon, maybe. Um, he very absent-minded, but very fun little old man. And when we were at the monastery, I'll put up some pictures in just a second. Um, where was it? Oh my gosh. Kamisua? Something like that? Hue Kam... I don't remember what it was called. It was near Lake Sua, which is uh, in the middle of Nagano, Ken, I believe. And every year they have this fireworks display, and it's one of the biggest in Japan. And it was it was very impressive. I was glad we were able to go. Some of them, when we were standing at that last place, uh, they were so big, the shocks would shake your clothes. I'm actually wearing clothes today, and so that's kind of nice. But anyway. Um, okay, so I'll do some pictures and some narration, as I sometimes do. And this is inside the monastery. That's Fawn and Mason. And then me also, we were just posing for our names, because when you get a room, your name is outside of it. And these are some inside shots of the monastery. It's quite nice. It's not very big, but um, very nice floors, good space. And the rooms are nice sized for people. The guest dining room. You make your own meals, kind of. They bring food sometimes. That's the chapel. It's a pretty neat chapel. Outside pictures, I wish I'd taken more of these. It's just very, very pretty mountainous area where they are. And what it looks like from inside the monastery to the outside. There's lots of trees, lots of green. It's very, very different from Tokyo, and it was a great break. Uh, Mason, and next to me, can't really see Fawn, but that's during the fireworks display. And then tons and tons of people there and there were tons of shops and lots and lots of food and one fireworks shot um, I have more but there's a video and then the last shot of the monastery so that's the monastery and I don't really like doing the photo narration thing because it always quits before I'm done talking and I don't want to do the pictures too long because then it takes up too much time but if they're too short then I can't say enough about them I could just talk and talk and talk about them. But I will let that suffice for now. Um, I am disappointed that I didn't have more outso outside pictures. Outside, outdoors pictures. I can't say that. I don't know what's going on. Um, because it was just beautiful. That one picture kind of gives an idea of what everything looked like. It was just so nice. And I thought I had some pictures of a shrine that we went to, but apparently I don't. Um, hmm. I really don't know. Anyway, so... Monastery was great. If anybody ever wants to go to monasteries, ask me about them. I can recommend monasteries in your area. And especially, of course, the one in Missouri, Conception. That one is wonderful, and I love that place. But I would recommend going to monasteries if you ever need a break from the hectic everyday life. Okay, so on to a new, completely unrelated subject. Tomorrow is another kanji shiken that I must take. I <laughs> must. I signed up for it. So another one that I volunteered to take, and I'm taking level four, which means that not only do I have to say how to read the content. Well, I was going to talk about kanji, but it seems that I cannot do it in a short amount of time that I have left. So I will ask you guys if anybody is actually paying attention or anything. Uh, I have actually two questions. One. If anybody wants, does anybody want me to talk about, uh, like, tips on memori memorizing kanji? I just have some of with using flashcards and other stuff. So that's that. And if people want me to talk about kanji any more, then that would be, that'd be fine by me, too. And two, I have a whole video of a sumo match, basically, in toto, um, the entire thing. 
and it would be probably about eight minutes long, maybe nine minutes long, the whole thing. And it was like the last match of the tournament that we went to, so it's like the grand tournament of the day. And um, it wasn't the highest, highest of the whole tournament because the tournament's about two weeks long, maybe. And at the end of each day, um, they decide a winner who will compete in the last one. And so we got to see um, that type of thing, who gets to go to the big money match. And I think it's pretty interesting. Um, if no one's ever seen Sumo, it'd be interesting. So if anybody wants to see that, let me know, and I, I can put it up if, if it would be desired, I suppose. So those are my two questions. And, oh, I have another thing just to throw out there. I found out today, my, when my roommates moved out, that I get a little, um, like, something off my rent for referring people to Tokyo Rent. So that made me very happy. So if any of you do choose Tokyo Rent because of um, hearing it from me, if you would be so nice as to um, put down me as referring you, then I'd be graciously happy. Graciously happy, is that even a thing? I would be very gracious towards you because it would help me out and um, it'd just be very nice. So if that happens, that'd be great. If not, that's okay too. Uh, that will be all for now because I do need to get studying. The reason I was going to talk, talk about kanji is I have another test tomorrow. But I should really study for it. So I will say bye-bye for now. And thank you for watching, I suppose. I still think it's strange that there's so many people that I don't know that are watching this. And I think it's kind of funny sometimes. If people, if I, re if I really, really thought about it, then I wouldn't be doing this because... It, I still get kind of um, self-conscious about it, but that's okay. So see you guys later.